Hello and welcome to my devlog about creating a little exploration adventure game. This week I finally got tired of not having any gameplay and decided to implement some of the most important gameplay features. To start with, I wanted to have a warp system that would teleport a user across scenes to a specific destination. I started by storing the start and end points as scriptable objects, and then teleporting the player between them when they entered the trigger area. I then combined this with a screen fade effect to make the effect less jolting, and also drew a quick gizmo to show where the player would be teleported to. To make the doorways fade to black, I used a lovely shader by Minions Art that creates a depth-based fog. I found a bug with the character controller where the internal position tracker of the character controller would prevent you from teleporting sometimes when you loaded a new scene. Fortunately, it's easily fixed by disabling and enabling the controller when teleporting. Next, I wanted to make simple AI for the player to be able to defeat. I started with a simple nav mesh agent that would wander randomly around. I then gave it some simple squash and stretch animations and made it chase the player. I was able to give the slimes attacks knockback by having the player move in a knockback direction with a decaying strength, and then I made a sword item which would attack in a cone when swung and plugged in a few combat effects. The combat still kind of feels clunky, so I'll be revisiting it next time to polish it up. Something I loved about a short hike was all the shiny money and chests you could find on the map, so I decided to put some in to sprinkle about the islands. Coins ended pretty much being reworked pickup items with a little sparkle on top, and chests were a bit more of an effort requiring some custom squash and stretch animation and when open they simply spew out their contents with a random upwards force. Afterwards I decided to add books since I needed to add some detail into the world where there were no NPCs about. Uh, this is currently achieved by putting a model of a book in front of the camera with some world space text UI. All that was left to do afterwards was to load the text from an item. I really like interfaces that tie into the physical world, like uh, my player crafting. So I'm planning on replacing the reading with something similar, so you can kind of sit cosy in front of a fire and read. Lastly, I did a little work on making the player smithy usable. However, it's mostly just a big work in progress. Uh, that's all for this week. I think we're pretty much on track for making something playable, so I'm very happy with that. I hope this little devlog gave you some cool ideas for your own games. If you want to see more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Have a great week, and until next time, happy development.